During the first annual virtual seminar on the Aero Gas Turbine Engine Development in India, the RDO's Gas Turbine Research Establishment has revealed its plans to develop a new high-thrust engine for the AMCA program. The new engine will have a dry thrust of 72.5 kN and a wet thrust of 110 kN, that will have a supercruise thrust of Mach 1.3 at an altitude of 39,000 feet. During the webinar, the DRDO also talked about several spin-off programs that can be developed from the 110 kN thrust class engine, that includes a futuristic dry engine, an operated 130 kN class engine for future next-generation platforms, marine gas turbine engine, turboshaft engine, and a turbofan engine and a turboprop engine that will be used on the proposed 110-seater regional transport aircraft that National Aerospace Laboratories has planned to develop. The new high-thrust engine will be superior to the EJ-200 engine that powers the Eurofighter Typhoon, and 28 acres of land have been sanctioned for establishing a new ground test facility, that will be ready in three years after the contract is signed with an international development partner, and 70 acres of more land will also be procured for establishing a high-altitude test facility, that will cost around 4,000 crore rupees. Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment had developed a 1,500 horsepower indigenous Bharat Power Pack engine for India's future main battle tank, and the Bharat Power Pack engine comes with transmission, a cooling system, air filtration, preheater, turbocharger, electrical system and power management. After completion of various ground-based trials of the engine along with the turbocharger, the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has integrated it with one of the older Arjun tank prototype, and has started its testing. Apart from powering the future main battle tank, it can also be adapted to power the next-generation infantry fighting vehicle, and will replace the 1,400 horsepower German engine on the Arjun Mark I and Mark I-A main battle tanks. Hindustan Aeronautics has invited the Indian industry for the design and development and subsequent delivery of fully assembled radio altimeters, which will replace the radio altimeter imported from US-based firm Collins Aerospace, on both civilian and military Dornier 228 aircraft. The radio altimeter consists of a receiver transmitter and antenna for exchange of information with ground stations, and it provides accurate altitude information to the cockpit crew during low-altitude flight. During the visit of Secretary-General Ministry of Defense of Oman to New Delhi in February, India and Oman will hold a meeting of the Joint Military Cooperation Committee, and it is to be noted, that Oman had already expressed interest in both naval and coastal defense versions of BrahMos missile. A series of high-level defense engagements between the two countries will also take place, that includes visits by Navy and Air Force Chiefs of Oman, as well as annual bilateral Air Force exercise in the next few months, that will see the participation of over 150 personnel from Oman. The RDO Chairman Dr. Sati Shreddy has said, that indigenously developed surface-to-air missiles, Astra air-to-air missile, Anti-tank missiles radars and torpedoes have gained the interest of various nations, and more advanced systems are being developed that will have good export potential. He also expressed confidence, that India will witness an increase in the export of indigenously developed technologies in the coming years. Amid the reports of upcoming meeting between Pakistan Prime Minister and Russian President, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has said, that the Russian President Vladimir Putin will meet his Chinese counterpart in China, and will not hold any bilateral meetings, which rules out any meeting with the Pakistani Prime Minister.